Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Fancy Life. So, the objective is head to the castle, so let's go. I'm loving the design of this game and the way it looks. It's so cute. Castell Castle Reception Hall. Hello, Minister. Welcome to the Castell Castle. The king is currently in residence within the royal court. His majesty is most gracious to his subjects. Please be quiet as a mark of respect. Keep your wig on. I shall do just that, sir. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Hold it right there! This is the royal court. We do not allow anyone to pass through here unless they are appropriately attired. What? What's wrong with my attire? I'm not saying you need to be in full mili mil mil military apparel, but I'm afraid that you look does not comply with royal regulations. At least put on a tie or wear a bow or something. This is a king we're talking about, you know. Oh, you meanie. Shh, keep your voice down. Oh, please, please let me in. I guess, help the butterfly. To the rescue again. Oh, hello again. I must say, I've never seen a butterfly that sparkles and talks before. This person is a big meanie. He won't let me see the king. Nobody's being mean. We simply don't allow insects in the royal court. Furthermore, the king doesn't have time to listen to the prattling of a butterfly. He's a very busy man. I'm not even doing his voice anymore. I'm sorry, but I have no choice in the matter. I must ask you to leave. I can't believe the prejudice one faces simply for being a butterfly. By the way, what are you doing here at the castle? So the king invited you personally, but they turned you away for not wearing a tie? How horrid! Oh, I've just had a brilliant idea. Do you want to give it a try? Oh god, what's gonna happen? Okay, stay where you are. Don't move at all. Here goes! Just raise your chin a little. Sparkly! <laughs> You've heard of a bow tie. Well, so ha say hello to the butter tie. Ha ha ha. I'm just gonna leave it uh, like this for a bit. Hold, scoundrel! I just told you your outfit is simply not. Yeah, spill the wrath of my sparkly flutter by flutter by bow tie. I can't even say. <laughs> I'm dazzled myself. What's that sparkling under your chin? It's a bow tie. Well, that changes everything. <laughs> yes, yes, it looks quite expensive. You should have put it on earlier. Such a splendid tie. Uh, it seems to be fluttering slightly. Still, it certainly complies with royal regulations. Please pass freely. Roger. Alright. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the king's like. Meet the king. Next objective. Hmm, so you've come. I am Eric, 11th king of Castell and ruler of the realm. He's a tiny boy. I should do a boy's voice. Our citizens pursue many varieties of life to lead our great kingdom to prosperity. As king, permit me to congratulate you on this auspicious day with the life you have chosen. Magician, baby! Eh, uh, what life was it again? Tee hee hee, darling, really? Well, it matters not. May the life you have chosen lead you on the path to glory. King is surprisingly cute. He's like a little boy. He is a boy and he's small. Mumbling to yourself, are you? Pray tell does my speech bore you? 
be assured, my loyal subjects, the dry formalities are now finished. Allow me to introduce my wife. What? My wife? I thought that was his mum. <sighs> Queen Ophelia of Castel. Kylie, congratulations on starting your life. For the sake of the kingdom, and more importantly for those you hold dear, please do your very best to work hard in your new life, day by day. She's beautiful, and she smells like a meadow in spring. The dutiful, smiling young lady to my right is my daughter, Laura. Ha, <laughs> she's not even there. Uh, darling, Laura's gone out. Again? She's... she def what? She defies me constantly by going out... Out Sin's bodyguard? What? I don't know what to do with her. She sounds like a wild princess. Turning to the matter... Uh, returning to the matter at hand. As you have now chosen your life, I should like to... To take this opportunity to request that you conduct yourself with pride as a true Castellian. All for one and one for all. Enjoy your chosen life and spread joy to others. His voice has changed so many times <laughs> when trying to do his voice. This is why I don't do voiceovers because they end up having like five different versions of voices. Gather much dosh if you wish to, uh, if that is your will. Garnish your life with stars if that be your desire. Pursue a life full of bliss if ye so wish. All who reside in the great land of Riveria are free to live their life however they see fit. Highly the magician, follow your own path in life. Here, gifts from the royal family, wishing you luck and prosperity for the future. Yes! 300 dash! Obtained world map, sweet. I have also furnished you with novice equipment. Try it on, please. The other gifts can be enjoyed at your leisure later on. Yes! I'm a magician! I look so awesome. Woohoo! Well, Kylie, you're really on your way now. You can change your weapons and defensive items on the main menu. Touch the menu icon on the touch screen and then select gear. Changing your equipment items will affect your stats and the look of your character. Collect various equipable items to create new outfits. Within the main menu, you can use items you are carrying, raise your stats and more by selecting from the various options available. Right, where's my stylus? Let's put it in my 3DS, there we go. It suits you well. I am somewhat envious. Hehehe, <laughs> oh darling. On to the next matter of business. Each life is governed by a separate master. They act as mentors for new recruits. Everyone begins their life as a novice under the tutelage of a master. That's the way it's done. Right, I do actually have the map out next to me. I believe that my master is in East Castell for the magician. Once you have earned your master's respect, they will promote you to the fledgling rank in your life. If you work diligently, you too may eventually reach the rank of master. Or you may yet surpass that rank and each that of a hero, or even legend, reach, sorry. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First you must greet the magician master. May doing so prepare you for a new and exciting chapter in your life. Ah, Prelude! Complete! Well then, Kylie, my subject, you must make haste to your master. I wish you eternal luck as a member of the magician life. Should you ever become disheartened, you are always welcome to draw strength here at the castle. Okay, well. I guess let's go and find my master. Let's do this. Off I get. 
Oh, that was such fun. Thanks to you, I got to see the king. Thank you so much. Kylie, look, good luck in your new life. Well, I guess this is where we part ways. See you later, butterfly. Oh, no. By the way, you look great in those new duds. But, don't you feel a little bare around the neck area, Kylie? Um, say. I thought I'd be alright on my own, but actually... People keep trying to catch me, and it turns out there isn't a butterfly life. <laughs> but I really, really, really want to know more about this world. Could I come with you, Kylie? Of course you can. Oh, please, I beg of you, take me with you. Get on my neck. Thank you, thank you. By the way, you can call me Flutter. We have to go and see the master next, right? But where could they be? Oh right, the king gave you a map, didn't he? I bet we can figure out where the master is by looking at the map. On the map menu, you can view a full map of Riveria as well as a map of the area you are in. Touch the map icon on the touch screen to enter the menu. Your current location and the location of your next objective are indicated by X markers. Press X to toggle between the different maps. Select locations to view various locations of note. Check out the locations of new areas as they become available so that you know where to go to find them. Select go home to return instantly to your room. The list of potential locations will increase as you clear certain events. Sweet. Off we go, off we go. Let's go and see the master. Save often to avoid losing progress. Data can be saved at the blue crystals dotted around the map. Data can also be saved in your room by checking your bed. You will have the option to save or sleep in order to restore HP. Time moves at a leisurely pace in Riveria. Go to your room or an inn and rest to, make up, uh, to wake up that evening or sleep to wake up in the morning of the next day. Yes, I would like to save. So as you can see, I am novice, magician. Okay, so I was right, it's um, towards the right hand side. Off we go. Oh, what's that? I want to go see. Oh, it's cute. What is it? I don't know. Should I talk to it? You look like an animal person. Fancy a pet? Your pet name may appear to others in multiplayer. Yay, give me a pet. Sorry, but you don't have enough bliss. Oh no! I only sell pets to happy people. Come again when you've got more bliss and I'll find the perfect pet for you. Oh, gutted. I'm glad you can have pets then. I didn't know that about the game. That's cool. you want to be a magician no I'm not the master you want the cat over there what shocked jinx oh awesome my master's a cat meow welcome perfect timing so you want to become a magician meow what's wrong never seen a talking cat before <laughs> Being a magician will introduce you to many of the mysteries of the world. Meow. Those who don't believe in magic and miracles are positively unfit for the job. Meow. So, do you believe in talking cats? Think carefully. Meow. And perhaps also consider whether or not talking cats believe in you. Meow. <laughs> Tell me, friend. <laughs> Friend Lenaris is yellow. How many toadstools do you need to make a blackbird pie? 
Professor, stop teasing her. Meh. Let's see, you're Kylie, aren't you? The guild said you'd be coming. I'm a magician myself. The name's Hazel, and this is our master, Professor Jinx. Professor Jinx, it looks like you have a new pupil. Fortunately, <laughs> I know just where to begin. Claw sharpening 101. Let's start. Meow. Professor. Meow. <laughs> she may look like an... <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm doing the wrong voice now. She may look like an ordinary cat, but she's actually a very famous magician throughout Riveria. If you study under Professor Jinx, you'll become a first-class magician in no time. I have a feline. It may take a while. <laughs> you can have a tail. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm loving this. Professor, you're not being very helpful. But she can't even do magic yet. Meow. Well, no, but... Magicians who can't do magic aren't magicians. They're ma magicators. What? Magicators? I can't even say that. Meow. <laughs> Professor. Just a little joke between us all on our paws. I was only a kitten. Perhaps I was being fur. Here, have this. Obtain novice's stuff. Hazel, my friend, kindly teach her the basics. Meow. Certainly, Professor Jinx. Kindly, let's talk outside. We've got an open air magic classroom, you know. The fledgling magician, spirit bound. I guess. Right, let's go outside. Okay, students, settle down. I'd like to introduce you to Kylie. Kylie is studying to be a magician just like you are. Studying to be? Doesn't that make her a magician? Oh, but. Oh, Magicants! There we go! Oh, it's Magicants! Ha 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 ha! Yes, yes, very funny. I'm afraid we've heard that joke before. Magicant, Magicant! Hee 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 hee! What are you laughing at? You're a Magicant as well. Well, if I'm a Magicant, what does that make you? Alright, that's enough. Okay, class, does anyone know the essential elements for magic? Hmm, come on, we just learnt this. And there's fire and water and wind and then earth and uh, light and dark. Correct, that's very good. Magic is all about harnessing the power of the elements. But humans don't have the power to harness elements at will, so instead we borrow the power of the spirits. Yep, we borrow all the power. That's right. We seek out the spirits to borrow their power. Okay, Kylie, are you with us so far? As magicians, we borrow the power of the spirits in order to perform all kinds of magic. That staff you got from Professor Jinx doesn't actually have any power of its own. Oh darn. But once you've befriended a few spirits, you can call them forth with your staff and cast magic spells. Okay kindly, let's go to the eastern forest and search for our spirits. Aw, oh, lucky. You two can go on the forest field trip once you're a little older. I want to go now. Right, we're off to the eastern forest. It's a good place to find spirits, so it's ideal for magician training. I'll go on ahead, okay? I've been waiting. Now begins the first test of your magical aptitude. First, let's go over the basics. Magic skill learnt! We can make contact with the spirits by utilising this skill. Right, first off, let's search for two spirits somewhere in this forest. Report back to me once you've located both spirits, okay? Oh, it's so cute! Spirit of water! Splash splash. Am I found? I'm a spirit of water. Splish splash gush greetings. Spirit of water joins your party. Oh, 
Butto Russell. Hey, can you see me? Really? I'm sp I'm a spirit of Earth. Sprouty Sprout greetings. <laughs> spirit of Earth joins your party. Go and see Hazel in East Castell. So let's return to her. Spirit of Earth and the Spirit of Water, you found them. This is very promising. Yes, you're off to a good start. Okay, now why don't you try connecting with the spirits using that skill I just taught you? Earth magic learns. Water magic learns. Sweet. Yes, just like that. Now we can finally make some magic. So, equip the staff that Professor Jinx gave you. Um. Well, there we go. Gear. Right, so. There we go. If I just look at the top screen. You can see that switching between weapons will actually change my stats, so magic attack, awesome. Okay, all equipped. Wait, now we can start the practical section of our field trip using magic. Dummy Kazam! Okay, first let's practice some magic using the spirits of water's power. Point your staff at an enemy and attack. Here's how you can call a spirit. Draw your staff to perform magic. Press A to cast a magical attacking or healing spell. As your level rises, you'll be able to learn new spells. Different forms of magic have different attributes. Use magic Use magic an enemy is weak against to deal high high damage. If you use magic these they are resistant to, you will deal less damage. Shields cannot be equipped when fighting with a staff. You can switch elemental attributes by uh, using the D-pad. Oh cool, that's really handy actually. Um, you can't select attributes you have not yet learned. Okay, ready to try? Right, so I can do two quite quick in a row. God, it takes ages to kill this dummy. Wow, Kylie, I think you have a natural gift for magic. Okay, now let's try a healing spell. This time we'll use the spirit of Earth's power to... How babyish. Nox, calling on spirits is kid stuff. See, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, I'm not really liking this guy. He's a bit of a dick. <laughs> Nox, how many times do I have to tell you? You mustn't go bothering the spirits just for the fun of it. Little boys who get too big for their boots will meet a sticky end, remember that. Yeah, right, like I care, huh? Haha, <laughs> now they're ganging up on you, eh? Eep! Well, they look like fire to me, but I don't know. What have you done now? Kylie, we have to round up those runaway spirits. Lend me a hand, won't you? Hazel, join your party. Oh, the way they're dancing around is funny. There they are. Spirits of fire are weak against the power of water. Use the spell from before. If you get hurt, just call on the spirit of earth. That way you'll be able to use healing magic. Be careful, Kylie.
we can do this. Take this, fire spirits! She's using fire, I think. Awesome! He seems to be under control now. Okay, Kylie. Magic learn sweet I didn't think it would let you learn all the elements straight away, but that's cool. That was a close one, but at least now you've connected with a spirit of fire. Pa This is Knox, my little brother. He's a magician student too. This is Kylie. Knox, remember your manners. Bleh <laughs> This is boring. Maybe I'll call up another spirit to liven things up a bit. Knox, you naughty boy, I think I know how to make you shape up. Maybe I should tell Collinsworth how naughty you've been. Ha, stupid sis, you don't know nothing. Know what everyone calls him now? Old man Snoozinsworth. <laughs> Snoozinsworth? What do you mean? You'll see. Bye bye. I would have liked him to, to have called another spirit because I might have learned another different type of magic. Guru, that snotty little brat. Uh, sorry about that. Deep down, he's not such a bad kid. Okay, Kylie, let's go back and see Professor Jinx. I'm sure she'll be really pleased to hear you've learnt magic so quickly. Okay, so... That was... I can't even remember her voice now. That was clawfully fast. How did you like that staff? Kylie's pretty talented. I'm glad to hear there was no catastrophes. <laughs> Never mind that, Professor. Hazel, something funny's happened. Oh, Nox. Oh, oh, Nox. I completely forgot you were here. Hazel, Collinsworth was here when I got back. I was scared he was not there. I was scared he was gonna scold me. Actually, my young whippersnapper. <laughs> uh, actually, my young whippersnapper. I don't have the heart for scolding right now. Why? What's happened? Well, young lady, the truth is. Collinsworth? Oh, I'm such a dozy old fool. I purrently Collinsworth here has been snoozing on the job. Meow. See, that's what I said earlier. Everyone's calling him Snoozingworth. Knox, go play outside now. Don't shout, sister dearish. I'll, I shall await the choir. How hall to catch up on my reading. There we go. See, Mr. Collinsworth, there's no need to scold me. I'm an angel. Oh, be gone, young squirt. I'll save my scoldings for later. If you can manage to stay awake, old man. <laughs> what am I going to do about him? For not, Hazel, my pet. I've secretly placed a spell on him. That will pause his magical powers for a whole day. What? Or is he going to be okay like that? Once Nox... Once Nox realises he can't perform magic, he'll learn his lesson for sure. As for Collinsworth, the poor man can't get a whisker of sleep at night thanks to a pesky spook. Oh, cool! It tapes, it taps on the window panes and it howls shake the choir hall. It's keeping me up all night. It's no wonder I doze off during choir practice. Are there really s s spooks outside the cho choir hall at night? Yeah, ha ha ha. Hazel's afraid of spooks. This may give you pause for thought. I've changed her voice back as well, haven't I? <laughs> oh well. Some people are afraid of black cats too, but we are positively harmless. 
Perhaps spooks are similarly misunderstood. Nope, they're just plain scary. How cruelly narrow-minded. Well, we all have our prejudices. Hazel says... If Hazel says count me out, then we may have to rely on Kylie. Prick up your ears and listen, Kylie. Magic isn't just about getting friendly with spirits. Part of magic works is cat catching fursome and ferocious spooks as well. Oh my god, this cat is full of puns. Perhaps I know you're a scaredy cat, but you'll still lend a paw, won't you? Okay, I'll try. Collinsworth. There's no need to fret. My pupil here will restore your cat rolling hole. It's a choir hall, but thank you. If you come in afternoon, we can wait for it to get dark. You'll be catnapping peacefully again soon. My pupils are clawsome at catching spooks. That's the choir hall in West Castell. Okay, guys, well, I think I shall stop this episode here. And in the next episode, we shall head to the next destination and see if we can do something about the spooks. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite and share the video, guys. Remember, this walkthrough is very dependent on if, if you guys engage in the form of comments and uh, whatever else. So, as always, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time, guys.